Hello Internet, welcome back to the John Graves Show. Today I'm talking about a little bit of uh, some news articles that kind of caught my eye and kind of seemed to shine just a little bit of light into why Anthem has been basically as you're reading now why it's giving fallout 76 a run a run for its money now i've read this article already and basically yes yes it does do the average thing of saying hey guys bioware they 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 were amazing they made mass effect they've been in touch with all the war tour games and all the rest of other craziness and yeah yeah i give them that but also those are very different teams teams at a very uh, at a very different point in history so uh you know and also they weren't as money hungry as as they are now so technically looking at why 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 anthem is giving fallout 76 a run a run for his money like that's pretty obvious you know now scrolling down here like there is a pretty interesting thing thing here and it is that uh and is that fallout 76 like most of his bad press actually came from <clears throat> Most of his bad press actually came from um, the special edition bags, which that they obviously like skimped out on and basically made a few people mad, mad who actually pre-ordered the bags, bags and everything. And also there was that whole thing of leaking public information, you know, pri uh, private and public information like of people's home, homes, addresses, and so on, so on, so forth yeah yeah all that was bad right however <laughs> the crazy thing is is that anthem is so bad that it's actually like stopping people from actually closing down their console or at least like cutting off the console to the point to where that you have to do a hard uh reset you know essentially basically pulling the plug on uh up on your system which is something that you're not supposed to do do because because doing that it can corrupt data you lose files mess up apps and so on so on so forth now in this article it does sort of have like a very conflicting argument where basically like doing that is bad and doing it is good good but still thinking about it and having uh and having to do it in the first place is literally the worst thing ever you know I mean like there's an update here like in the article like right here i mean like anthem is such a glitchy mess that like even right here in the article it says uh oh look a new glitch that makes level one guns gu guns the most powerful in in the game like anthem was one of those games that obviously people are already going crazy about the whole downgrade in in graphics and everything which which technically at that point i can kind of i can kind of understand with the e3 thing of saying like oh, okay there there were, there was a downgrade like when they announced this game back in 2017 i can see it then because it was okay it's a it's basically like a small program a small area you kind of like ran this program so many times and got so many people to work like in such a small map or a CG cutscene or whatever. And yeah, it can work out fine. However, the problem with Anthem now is that they've had over 10 years, like 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 six, like well, not it wasn't 10 years. I think it was six years. It was six years to get the game running, get it actually looking good. You know, cause like, cause like in 2017, okay, obviously the maps like they're not like uh, it's a fixed size. You got so many people going in there, but. But then when you stop and think about it, it's like, wait a second. I mean, like, we don't know about the behind the scenes, scenes of what of what happened to Anthem and why it doesn't have all of its cut content and everything else. Because yes, the game has a lot of cut cut content in it. But then the more that I look at Anthem, the more that I'm like, okay, like this is just studio execs kind of chopping everything out to make people like want to go and rebuy like specific things just so they have it for the special editions and so forth or at least for a season pass or whatever it may be right and it's like you shouldn't be doing that you should make the game and make it fun but didn't want to do that so what can we do about that the most i can really say about this specific article here is that yeah 
idea bioware putting out a busted game that's actually messing up consoles and actually um making it so that when you can't cut your game off yeah that's a lot worse than a messed up tote bag or you know leaking information because at the very least i'm losing my entire system but that is what i gotta say about that please tell me what you think about this down there in the comment section i'll catch you guys on the next john grave show please keep watching anime keep playing video games well